Insect pets are a major problem in vegetable production systems. There are three ways of controlling insect pests as part of integrated pest management or IPM approach. Those are system-based practices, mechanical practices, and insecticides. Trap crops are based on the principle of host preference. That is, insects have strong preference for food and actively seek the most appropriate host plant. Trap crops lure insects away from the main crop. Insecticide applications made to the trap crop prevents migration of pests into the main crop. Advantages of trap cropping include a low cost of technology, seed is the only cost, compatibility with current farming practices, increased biodiversity, protection of natural enemies, and reduction in insecticide usage. Success of the trap crop depends on the choice of trap crops and on design or layout. If the pest source is unknown, it is recommended to use perimeter system with the trap crops planted on all sides of the main crop. This works well in small farms and rectangular fields. Strip interplanting is more complex system and is suitable for large farms. Here is a photo of a perimeter trap crop demonstration aimed at reducing leaf footed bug damage in tomatoes. In this case, all four sides around the main crop were planted to NK300 variety of forage sorghum. The pest is attracted to the head or panicle of sorghum planted two weeks before the main crop. Here is a photo of strip intercropting system where NK300 sorghum was planted in a wide swath across a large vegetable field. Remember to scout the trap crop for target pests and use insecticides during peak insect activity to reduce pest population. If the pest is known, trap crops can be used in a highly efficient manner using the source sink approach. In this layout, trap crops are planted at specific locations to arrest insect migration. It may take a few years of trap crop use on a farm to generate sufficient knowledge about the pest source. This is a graphical representation of how sorghum trap crops work for leaf-footed bug control under high pest pressure. The trap crop served as source of food and mating site. Two insecticide treatments on sorghum were sufficient to reduce 78% of leaf-footed bugs without treating the main crop. Here is a video of leaf-footed bugs on sorghum trap crop in southwest Alabama. Notice the high concentration of leaf-footed bugs on every ear. In the absence of trap crop, the leaf-footed bugs will feed on tomatoes and other crops resulting in very poor quality of produce. Producers can use trap crops creatively on their farm. In this case, a producer in Alabama used sunflower and sorghum trap crops all along the fence near the road making his field look attractive to curious customers. Trap crops can also provide some weed control and wind reduction as side benefits. There are many limitations of trap crop system that can be overcome with experience. For additional information, please refer to these trap crop publications available online. Watch the other videos in the trap crop series for advanced knowledge. Consult a regional extension agent for designing a trap crop system for your farm.